So here we are at Burke's Garden Hostel. Really, really beautiful area. It's like four tenths of a mile from a uh, trailhead right on the AT. If you're coming this way, this is looking like a must stay. Anyway, meeting up with some fellow YouTubers here and chasing her down oh. around the vehicle. <laughs> Look who's here. You he got back from yep. AOK Foraging Adventures and she's hiking in support of uh, diabetes. Is that right? Correct. And you're hiking, what, like three weeks you're going? Yeah, close to three weeks, 230 miles. 230 miles. I'm only going to do about 80 of those uh, going down to Grayson Highlands. And with any luck, we'll end up right back here. And that's where I will depart. Uh, looks like we're going to have some great hiking. I'm liking this place. This is, uh, Oh yeah, I want to come back here. All right, good morning. Here we are at the Elk Garden Trailhead, going to hike north for a whole week or so. Um, got we got Tack and Robin back there, and uh, it's raining. I wish it wasn't raining, but it's raining. Um, we're waiting for a couple friends to stop by. They were going to bring us some uh, some food and that'll be really good because i didn't need anything yet this morning so hopefully the rain will stop between now and then and then we'll get moving and there's some yes. some uh, yes. uh muffins yes. 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 to me a uh, couple of years back rain has slowed down a bit it's more like fog and dripping trees plan for this trip i'm going about 75 miles up to where burke's garden hostel is left my car there and had a friend drive us back down to uh, elk garden where we got on the trail we're working our way up now in the Grayson Highlands. It's about four miles of moderate grade on the way up. Not too bad. It's nice and misty. And there's a ton of flowers blooming. A lot of uh, trillium out and some kind of little yellow lily thingies. All quite nice. Today's goal is about 13 miles to the Scales campsite. Nice uh, corral area. Might have some ponies or some longhorn cattle show up. It's also got a uh, metal food box storage locker and it's got a uh, privy, which is always welcome. Okay, we're passing the 500 mile mark, which is nice. It's still raining. And actually for a while there was some sleet in it, so it was kind of frozen rain. Not nice to hike in. I forgot my mittens. So I'm gonna have to wear some socks on my hands tomorrow morning or something. It's supposed to be 30 overnight. So we're gonna have to do some management to uh, not freeze our stuff. Oh. 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 All right. I 
got to get rid of my poles for a minute. Rainbow going on. Oh, oh. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainbow. Singing the rainbow song. Double rainbow. What does it mean? That is like the biggest, most insane rainbow I think I've ever seen. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. All right, we got the Dan Durston X-Mid Pro 2 set up in eh, partial skinny pitch mode. We have a tree impeding the doorway and uh, I just tied off with a string right there to the tree to hold it up and uh, kind of slacked everything off and it works good. Okay, end of day one, about nine and a half miles from Elk Garden up and over Grayson Highlands, and now we are just outside the park on the north side. There's uh, where the Wise Shelter is. If you go just beyond that, about 200 yards, there's a river and a bridge and legal tent sites. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them up here and bear boxes. So we made it a um, little bit rough first day and tomorrow is about the same length but I don't think anywhere near as hard going up over uh, scales and uh, up to the next shelter. Proving at the wise shelter. I'll give it a solid B. Clean, not stinky. The bubble's just starting to come through, so it's gonna get heavily used here pretty soon. Overall though, not bad. Anybody knows what kind of feats that is give me a comment down below that I, I don't think I've seen that one yet and of course the sun's gonna be right behind me That I gave these out to all the hikers. And who made these? Oh, my wife. Okay. Yeah, make Baba YouTube famous. <laughs>
starting day three. It was cold last night, about 31. And we pressed, it was about 15 miles back from Y Shelter to uh, this tent site, kind of after the waterfall. And we got in, it was just about dark, so we snarfed up a, uh, okay, tent site. And had a good time, talked with some people around the fire last night, and then uh, got up early this morning. We're going to get rolling. Today, we're aiming for partnership shelter. It's about 14 miles. I think we can do that. Plenty of temp, si temp sites, <laughs> plenty of tent sites coming in before that, so we should be all right if we can't go that far. Absolutely gorgeous too. So it's messed up. So messed up. Stomach gets used to grains and well, I don't know how it gets used to She did it for us. A regular Pepsi? Pizza? Pizza. I I'm gonna eat. Yeah. Pizza, I don't come <laughs> All right. So that's 25, 56, and then we also got the uh, the wings, the 16, the honey barbecue. I almost had one too. I was like, there was a little other one that was good. Good morning, Privy at the Partnership Shelter. Last year, this was a steaming, rancid mess. That was late in the summer, I think. Uh, this is, what, May 1st? No, uh, late April, last week, April. And it's actually pleasant. Um, no stink, very, very clean. And it has toilet paper. A um, little dark, but that's okay. I'll give it an A minus. Uh, that is a increase in score from last time, which is very good. So I'm uh, I'm a fan now. Good morning from Partnership Shelter. This is the beginning of day four, and we're moving right along. It was a little chilly last night again. I. Ended up putting all my layers on. I've only got the 30 degree enlightened equipment quilt. It's the uh, hammock version, so it's cut a little narrower and doesn't have straps like the normal one. Anyway, it got down to yeah, low, low 30s again, and it doesn't quite cut the mustard uh, in those conditions, but that's okay. I had my puffy and a uh, long sleeve shirt, which worked really well. And uh, I was okay. I was sort of comfortable. Today, we are going to go either 11 or 13 miles. The uh, Alpaca Farm Hostel, or possibly there's a tent site further up. Looking at food at the Mexican place, too. Looking forward to a good day. Looks cloudy. Hopefully, we don't get any showers.
So as a recovering person from AlphaGal, I don't know if this churi pollo is the best thing to do, but it <laughs> sure looks good. Why are the chickens coming? It's an invasion. <laughs> you know it's good material. You pair a socks like that, they'll never get wet. Beginning of day five at the Alpaca Farm. It's a bright and sunny day, a little chilly. Back has got some frost on their backs. Uh, this is the hmm, a llama. No, not a llama. Alpaca Hostel. It is the uh, long neck lair. Is what this is. Long neck lair. Alpaca Farm Hostel. And. Uh, Great place to stay, not far from the trail. Cool Mexican last night right around the corner. Today is going to be a 15 mile day, one of the bigger days. Hopefully the trail is smooth, uh, unlike the last couple days, which was a lot of rocks. Looks like we got some weather blowing in. Almost to the top of the hill here, where um, I think it's Chestnut Ridge Shelter, Chestnut Knob Shelter. It's the four-sided one with the door. The long haul up to get to it. Was at uh, Bear Garden Hostel last night, very nice. Had uh, an overflow room to myself, so I had peace and quiet. And then got out early. Tack had to stay back at Quarterway Inn Hostel. Her ankle seems to have immobilized itself. Uh, maybe overuse, maybe sprain, not sure. So she's uh, getting a ride with somebody else and gonna meet us all back at Burke's Garden Hostel here this afternoon where my section hike with them was supposed to end anyway. So it looks like I'm getting off just in time for the weather to blow in. Got a tenter. I guess they do a lot of tents. 